mumps. Mumps is actually caused by mumps virus, which is like that of uh, the measles, a classification of a paramyxovirus. The pathogenesis of mumps include um, a spread by respiratory droplets. So if someone sneezes at you, coughs, or whatever, or someone who talks to you and transmit it through aerosol droplets, then you get the virus. And then it will actually, this virus will actually replicate in the T lymphocytes, especially the activated T lymphocytes, and it will spread uh, hematogenously or in your bloodstream, which will, which will, call, which is, which will cause viremia, and you'll eventually get to your salivary glands and other glands. The salivary glands would uh, cause a septic meningitis and in some cases have septic meningitis and in your testis it will it can cause um, the mumps or kitaitis in which the when the testis get gets inflamed uh, since the tunica albuginea which covers the testicular uh, tissue is not um, flexible or called this is, does not expand um, swelling of it can compress the testis and will can eventually lead to um, sterility. And then we also have pancreas, which can present as mumps encephalitis. And some of uh, in most of the cases, the patient will present with parotitis or swelling of the parotid gland. So in about seventy percent of the cases, there will be bilateral swelling of the parotid gland. So here you can see. A patient with a bilateral swelling of the parotid gland and you can see grossly there is an enlarged doughy consistency in an cut surface and if uh, on the cut surface it can it will present as reddish brown moist and glistening the histology picture of this which I do not have uh, will present um, uh, lymphocytic infiltration which are diffusely um, distributed in the interstitium and it will also include macrophages and plasma cells which will compress the acini and the ducts. The lumen of the ducts will contain neutrophils and um, necrotic debris. Again, the, the lumen of the ducts, it's the lumen which will contain the neutrophils but the lymphocytic um, infiltrates like macrophages and other lymphocytes and plasma cells will be found in the interstitial okay so if the question is where will you find the necrotic debris uh, which is actually characteristic of um, acute inflammation which is neutrophils it's not in the interstitial but it's in the lumen of the ducts